Good afternoon. The senators just took a break to hold a caucus. Earlier, there was a debate on when actually a company is considered dead after its license has been revoked by the SEC. The SEC director, Benito Cataran, was saying they consider the revocation of a license as the solution, but Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile was saying that um, based on what he knows of the law, that is actually not the case. So joining us to give us her take on the trial so far this afternoon is Rappler Editor-at-Large, Marites Vitog. So ma'am, um, you were telling me before we went on air that it seems it took time before the prosecution was able to establish what they wanted from this witness. Yes, I think um, it was... We, we noted from the beginning that Senator Legarda was already getting impatient and wanted direct, they wanted the prosecution to say directly why is this relevant. Right. And it took so long before finally uh, Congressman Umali said that the alleged cash advance is fictitious and then he said because the names of Christina Corona and Renato Corona do not appear at all in the articles of incorporation or in any documents filed with the SEC. So that was, uh, he could have made that point earlier, uh, but he only did so upon the prodding of some senators. So you think had that been established, uh, we didn't go into this whole debate of all the senators asking, when is it dead? Or like Senator Ping was saying, nakaswero pa ba yung kumpanya? May ganun pa. Parang there was that confusion for so long. Yes. I think uh, we were making a joke uh, when we were in the gallery that maybe pagkatapos mamatay yung corporation, baka may stage preparation bago i-cremate. So, na mat masyadong nag-dwell again on the legal technicalities when in the beginning, all the prosecution pala wanted, which they could have moved fast forward and maybe change tactic because you notice that Senate, that uh, presiding officer and Senate... Uh, Senator Enrile is also getting impatient. So, like, do away with those technicalities or procedural um, requirements. He's, he's not too rigorous about procedural requirements. We noticed this afternoon. So now it's a cue for the prosecution to make their point early on. So that's the lesson, I think, uh, this afternoon for the prosecution. Okay, but despite all that confusion, what was established from Mr. Kataran was that in 2003, the license of Basa Guidote was revoked and that Christina Corona did not appear in the list of um, stockholders and directors, at least for the latest document that they have, which was in 1990. What does that mean as far as Article 2, this trial, is concerned? Well, uh, as Senator Kiko Pangilinan said, uh, today, apparently, the prosecution is questioning the items included in the sal and which are not allegedly, which are not truthful. So that's again, you know, uh, I think they have to spell it out now in the beginning and to make it very clear at the onset because everybody seems to be getting impatient. But at least, where well, there were some points established. But as we go forward, it, this is not as simple as it seems to be because. Underneath this um, alleged cash advance is a, is a very bitter family feud which involves Basa Guidote. But I, I don't know if that will be taken up here in the impeachment trial, but this is only the start. If this becomes a full-blown issue, then um, it's a very complicated, very intense uh, family feud that has pitted Christina Corona against her uncles and aunts. Okay, but Congressman Omali was saying, for the prosecution at least, what they want to establish is that in the sal end, that cash advance of 11 million was declared. And from what we know, um, how exactly was it used? I know it was for the La Vista property, right? Uh, the 11 million cash advance made in 2003 was supposedly to pay for the La Vista property, which cost exactly the same amount in 11 million. But as one of our analysts one of uh, a financial analyst pointed out, uh, Chief Justice Corona was able to pay for the cash advances from 2003 to 2010 without reflecting an increase in income and with continued acquisition of property. So that's also a big question mark, which I think uh, should be looked into by I mean the public as well as uh, the senators. So that cash advance wasn't declared prior to 2010, is that what you're saying? No, the cash advance was declared only in 2003. Okay. 
I, I noticed something about the sal ends of Chief Justice Corona. When he was with Malacanang, he stopped uh, declaring Basa Gidote in 1996 sal end. It disappeared until it reappeared in 2003 sal end. So I don't, what does that mean? How come he did not declare Basa Gidote for how many years and then it reappears in 2003? So it's again one of the issues we have to look into. Okay, thank you, Mama Rita.